said the hue of cherry flowers fade too quickly. To this I said, matters none. The Japanese flowers still, still fill our hearts with warmth and love. Speaking of Japanese flowers, today artist Mrs. Melanie Bhatt alongside her beautiful guest Mrs. Gunnar Haber will demonstrate to us the art of Japanese flower arrangements. Come on close, let's join these two lovely women. originated in Japan and for that we have our special guest from California Mrs. Guna Hebar who has been trained in Ikabana from the number one Ikabana artist in India Mrs. Priya Ranganathan. So let's see what Guna has to offer to all of us on Utsa. Guna, it's all yours now. Take over and let's learn okay. some Ikabana. Okay, thanks Dalini. I'm excited to show, share some tips on Ikebana. Mm -hmm. Ikebana is a Japanese style flower arrangement. Mm -hmm. Ikru means flower, uh, bana means flower, ikru means arrangement. Mm -hmm. And we'll show something. It is not just putting flowers in a container. Mm -hmm. Japanese style arrangement is creating nature. Uh, recreating nature inside your house in the containers. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it was. I always throw flowers in a container and call it freestyle arrangement. <laughs> but I know Ikabana had its own rules governing them, right? The it's a disciplined art right, form. Right. It has the important thing is there are lines, heaven, earth, and man. Mm -hmm. The relationship between all three elements of nature mm -hmm. that is uh, ikebana uh -huh. so this is one example uh -huh. the heaven or, or it's called the shin uh -huh. is the longest line man is the second line uh -huh. and the earth is the third line earth comes low that's almost spiritual you know it feels so very spiritual. spiritual actually it originated when buddhism mm -hmm. was spread to japan mm -hmm. Uh, sometime uh, in the 6th century, the cabana mm -hmm. became a art, that's mm -hmm. what. Uh, so there are different styles. We will do some informal, not too formal. Mm -hmm. Cabana is a very formal art, it is 90 degrees, 75 degrees, 15 de degrees. Mm -hmm. But we will keep it simple today with whatever we have. Okay. You can use something simple, shallow container. Mm -hmm. So you can use any type of container. There are no rules on, okay, this has to be certain shape yeah certain for formal ikebana there are certain style but we are using with whatever we have mm -hmm. so, so there is freestyle ikebana also then yeah right? there are freestyle with the simple ma moribana is the simplest most informal style uh -huh. we will do the moribana style ikebana mm -hmm. ikebana also has its pin holder which is mm -hmm. called kenzen mm -hmm. to hold the plants mm -hmm. in the right place. Uh -huh. So we will do the... Uh, is it available so here in this uh, country or you yeah, bought it from India I guess, right? I can buy, I bought it from online. Show our viewers. There are some Ikebana sh uh, shops online you can okay. buy. Okay. So let's get started. Okay. The first line is heaven. It should be one and a half times. Okay. Diameter plus height and one and a half times. This is about perfect, so okay. put this one, put it. It's always done with fresh flowers, I guess. Yes, right? always fresh flowers, okay. recreating nature. Uh -huh. I just, and three-fourths of heaven is man. Uh -huh. We need to have a special ikebana scissors, but we are using our okay. regular <laughs> scissors. Uh -huh. I did not bring it with me. So, three-fourths of this, uh -huh. maybe you can help me cut this. Sure. Three-fourths of this will be earth. You want to cut okay, it three-fourths of this size. 
About here? Yeah. Okay. About here. So, okay. longest line is heaven. Okay. Second line is man. That's a three-fourth of heaven. Okay. Okay. There you go. Okay. So, this is earth. That 15 degree, approximately. Mm -hmm. 90 degree, 75 degree, 15 okay. degree. Okay. Then we can add some extra. Those are called juices in Japanese language. Mm -hmm. Shin, Sho, Hikai, mm -hmm. and juices. So, any, any leaves are okay for that purpose? Yeah, try to find some artistic ones. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, this is pretty. You can also trim it to make it more look more. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks so pretty. pretty. Make sure it is properly. Okay. Then we cover it with water and change water every two, two to three days. Mm -hmm. So it will last for a long time. Uh -huh. It is like creating nature. Is I like something to look at about this. odd number of flowers and... Yeah, odd uh, number three or five. Uh -huh. Or sometimes even with one. For example, this one we have just one branch of dogwood. Mm -hmm. So, it's just using your imagination right. and following the guidelines. Right. In Itabana, lines are important. Uh -huh. So, I heard, uh, Guna, that uh, it's very spiritual and uh, almost, uh, you know, Japanese observe silence when they arrange their flowers because they want to feel one with nature and, you know, uh -huh. It's a sort of meditation for them. Yes, exactly. Maybe we should talk less and focus on <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. Out of I, arrange it. It. <laughs> I arrange flowers inside my house and I, I just look at it mm -hmm. in my meditation room or living room. Mm -hmm. It feels so good. Mm -hmm. I love nature. Mm -hmm. So it's important to put yeah. it See, right. Otherwise right. it will fall down. Yeah. Yeah. Hold it and press it down. Right. That's why we need. Can we use the uh, uh, form which is available here? In Kibana, actually, uh, doesn't allow that. Okay. But if you want to create nature, uh -huh. the purpose here is creating nature. Oh, look at this! It's so pretty. Maybe we can let's, cut. let's hold it to the camera. We may have to cut this one a little bit shorter for balance. Ikaban also has all kinds of art principle: balance, color, texture, mm -hmm. harmony. Mm -hmm. so, it also it brings out your personality I feel you know uh -huh. because you are sort of create creating what you are feeling inside of you yes so I, I'm you seeing that you're right. enjoying the process and you know the result is a beautiful arrangement like this yeah that, that's so wonderful uh -huh. so fill this with water oh, and so it will last pretty. for a few days did you buy these flowers uh, from uh, uh, this one we store bought okay. sometimes I just buy plants small plants and uh, okay. I use the flowers for arrangement. Okay. With the short stock we can do the floating arrangement. Okay, that's coming up I know. So yeah. let's go for the floating arrangement next then. She's going to show us a floating arrangement on a container which we would never have guessed. It's a dosa pan. Guna, take okay. it away. Yeah, like a, we can use our imagination this would be perfect for dosa party, especially if you have old dosa pan from India. Let's do with whatever we have. That's so We decided creative. to do this, uh, but it's too small. We mm -hmm. need big enough. Mm -hmm. So we have brought lotus from your garden. <laughs> Fresh lotuses. <laughs> Fresh lotuses from your garden. You know what? We brought a show last year on how to grow oh. uh, water lilies on your deck. So oh, I hope some of our uh, viewers have picked it up and started their uh, water garden. Oh. <laughs> this is perfect for the floating. We mm -hmm. can use any flowers okay. with a short stem, uh -huh. but uh, we are fortunate to have lotus. Uh -huh. So odd number of flowers, one, two, three, we are using three flowers. Uh -huh. Uh, the Kenzen or the pin holder should be on the corner mm -hmm. in a rectangle container in any one corner. Mm -hmm. Here we are using one corner. Mm -hmm. If the leaves are too big, mm -hmm. we can trim it up. Mm -hmm. Would you like to help me just to trim sure. the same shape and fill it with water. Mm -hmm. In the floating arrangement, they are in the crescent shaped. 
Uh -huh. Three flowers like that. Okay. And uh, trim it like yeah. Trim the leaves to smaller size. Okay. So that it doesn't feel the yeah. Uh -huh. We are covering this. Even with one, it's looking very pretty. Yes. You know? yeah. So you leave the rest uh, just like you know uh, yeah. blank, or you want to fill it up more. Yeah. Surprise your guests with the dosa pan for dosa <laughs> party. <laughs> So, so are you going to be serving dosa on the day you do this arrangement or? Yeah, or anywhere. You can, <laughs> Use right. your, yeah, any other fry pan, right. any other kitchen. Right. We and are I guess trying. Uh, you can use any container. You were going to show us something made on a cart like this, right? Yes. With wild flowers and wild flowers, yeah. shrubs we picked up from, mm. uh, you know, while driving <laughs> yesterday. <Yeah. laughs> So you just randomly fix it in the cart. Yes. Uh, Make sure. Just still, we have to follow the, the guidelines. Okay. The lines mm -hmm. and make it look appealing. Right. Right. Okay. It's, this is mostly flowers, mm -hmm. so we don't need a lot of foliage. Right. This is called basket arrangement. You can use any basket. Mm -hmm. And we can use containers like this. Oh, that's and so pretty. I would just put a flower on a container like this and you have the lid embellish lid. with the, yeah, the lid and put ohm. I already picked up tips from you, Guna. What no, do you, you think of me as a student? I'm very proud of you. A plus? No, you a, plus, a, plus, a plus, plus? Yeah, A plus plus, whatever is important. <laughs> <laughs> so, even this, this will this make a nice... flower you picked up yesterday. Yeah, I loved it. I know the the help moment me. I saw that, I said, this is going on the show. <laughs> So, what uh, roses from your garden? We can do that. Okay, I guess mm -hmm. we are running out of time. So, try to do it. <laughs> These are thorns. So. Yeah, thorns should be removed. Okay. When you cut flowers, do it early in the morning. Mm -hmm. Soak it in a bucket full of water until neck deep. Uh -huh. Remove the excess leaves thorns uh -huh. because they absorb too much water mm -hmm. so and you were telling me something about um, you know storing these uh, fresh cut flowers in a bucket of uh, yes water overnight or something overnight you can cut it the day before uh -huh. or cut it early in the morning okay uh, so then uh, store it until you are ready to arrange right right then change water every two days Okay. We want to preserve it as much as. Okay. You want to cut one more purple, your favorite. Right. You pick this flower. Yeah, yeah. Put we can it always um, put anywhere and then now the flower arrangement is complete. So that was a great show on Ikabana, the art of flower arrangement from Japan. And there is a theory that says that it originated in India as well. We were talking uh, about it yesterday. Yeah. Um, that can... Uh, you know, come in another show later, you know, some other time whenever we do the next one. We are running out of um, time, Guna, but this was a very, very exciting show on a unique art of flower arrangement. I hope our viewers enjoyed it as much as I did. Yes. And do it. I hope you picked up a lot of tips. It's such also. a peaceful, this Thank is you like for a watching us.